Are you wondering whether you've met your twin flame or not? In today's video, we'll be sharing with you 11 very clear signs that you have met your twin flame. So, sign number one is that this person will feel familiar to you, even though you have just met. This happens because twin flames share one consciousness. So your twin flame is literally you. So of course they're going to feel more familiar than anyone else, even people you've known since childhood. So if you notice that this person feels very familiar to you, that maybe there's this feeling of having met in a past life, then that's a very good sign that this person might be your twin flame. Sign number two is that your core values will align perfectly because you share them. As I mentioned in the previous sign, twin flames share one consciousness, so they share the same soul design. And part of that soul design is what you value on a deeper level. So if you value honesty, of course, your twin flame will also value the same. Same goes for things like health or respect, perhaps, commitment. All those things are deeper core values that your twin flame will also share. Sign number three, you desire to experience similar things in life. Not exactly identical, but you might notice that your lives have similar experiences in them. Perhaps both of you have lived abroad or you have chosen very similar career paths. And that is because your twin flame will desire to experience life in very much a similar way that you do and gain similar understandings and experiences. Sign number four, this could be your twin flame, is that if this person is who they truly appear to be, then there could be no other for you. And this is because twin flames are created to be perfect for each other. So if this person is indeed the person they are showing themselves as, of course there won't be any other for you because they were created perfect for you and they are your perfect mats. This takes us to the next sign, sign number five, that this person could be your twin flame, is that you have given this person many opportunities for them to reveal themselves. You have known each other for a while. You have spent some time together. So after giving this person enough opportunity to reveal themselves, they have always revealed themselves to be your perfect complement and never once have they revealed themselves to be your not perfect complement. So in this case, you have given this person plenty of opportunities where they could expose themselves if they were lying and every single time it is revealed that they match all your core values, that they have been honest with you. And of course, this also means that if you were experiencing a block in an area of your relationship, as soon as you heal that block within yourself, that person also reflected that healing. So, for example, if you were not communicating for some time, you worked on communication within yourself, with your higher self, with the divine, and as soon as you healed that, that person returned to your life and you are now speaking quite regularly. That's a very good indication of a twin flame. And on the twin flame journey, a lot of it is inner work, healing within yourself, what your twin flame is showing you. And this can also speed up your twin flame revealing process. When you are healing yourself and you're in tune with yourself, it becomes very easy to reveal if a person is your perfect match or not because you're so aware of who you are and what you desire and what choices you're making. So if that person over there is not reflecting those, you can instantly know that, hey, that's not my twin flame and you can just let them go and continue your journey. If manifesting your twin flame union is something you've been struggling with, then as a certified ascension coach, I can help you with this. And I've also had to do a lot of that work to get into my own union. So I know what you're going through and I can help you with that. So if you would like more support on your twin flame journey, then don't hesitate to reach out. I have a form linked in the description of this video for that purpose. And yeah, let's make your twin flame journey easier because it really doesn't have to be a struggle and the right support can really help with that. Speaking of healing, sign number six, that this person could be your twin flame, is that your spiritual journey is always taking you closer to this person and overall it's never really taking you away from them. Sometimes you might meet your twin flame and you're not able to really process what they're mirroring to you, so you might need to separate for a bit because it's more compassionate this way than being so upset at each other. But as soon as you're committed to your spiritual path and you're really dedicated to it and you are really aligning with your divine self and with your creator, then it becomes really obvious that this person is joining you there because your twin flame is designed to be your perfect complement and they're designed to also help you ascend, which is a lesser known purpose of twin flames. It's not just about the romance. It's also about helping you become the best version of yourself. So since they're designed for that, your spiritual path will always lead you to them consistently over and over. 
So if you notice that this person keeps popping up while you're on your spiritual journey, you can't get rid of them, <laughs> then, you know, might be a really good sign that, hey, this could be your twin flame. And you might notice that other people vibe out of your reality very fast when you are on a spiritual journey consciously. And that's perfectly natural, but this will never happen with your twin flame. Your healing always takes you closer to them. Sign number seven that this person could be your twin flame, somehow related to the previous one, is that you and this person grow together and you never stop growing together. You share one consciousness, so you make the same core choices. If you're choosing to heal, so are they. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I am doing all this healing work, I want to be with my twin flame, what if they don't want to be with me? There's no such thing. As soon as you heal separation in your heart, then your twin flame will be right there. And that can happen instantly. It doesn't have to take years or decades. It just takes dedication, commitment, and persistence. And you might notice anything you do to grow as an individual, any self-exploration that you do, any healing that you do, that will also be reflected in your twin flame because you grow as one. You might not use the same methods. You might be more interested in meditation while your twin flame is more interested in doing the mirror exercise. But ultimately, the result is the same. You always grow together as one. You can't outgrow each other or vibe out of each other's reality because you are designed to live as one. Sign number eight, you might have met your twin flame, is that you'll notice that this person adores you and chooses you above all others. So if you're experiencing a block in your union in which you are not in union with your twin flame and you're not certain, there's some running going on, some chasing or a third party situation, Yes, you might notice your twin flame having other love interests. But the difference is that if that person is your twin flame, then you are this person's perfect complement. You are this person's perfect partner. So any other relationship is very much short-lived because they are not designed to be with a soulmate or a karmic. They're designed to be with you, like you are designed to be with them. So even if you do notice them dating someone else, it will always be so short-lived because subconsciously they are looking for you in that person because you are the perfect lover for them and vice versa. So if you notice that you are not able to get over this person even though you date other people and you really want to move on but something in you like you really can't and it's not coming from a place of lack it's coming from a place of love then that's a really good sign that hey this might be your twin flame because yeah you're not really able to move on from them, even though you completely love them. Which is the opposite of what happens in relationships with soulmates and karmics. When you love them fully, the relationship dissolves because the relationship is not designed to grow with you. But your twin flame union is designed for that. As you grow, your twin flame does as well. So the relationship doesn't really dissolve. You always come to the same conclusions and you're always compatible. Sign number nine that you might have met your twin flame is that the love you share is always perfect. It's always what you need and your relationship is balanced. So with your twin flame, you never have to compromise on yourself, on your values. You don't have to pretend to be someone else to keep them. You could be at your worst and your twin flame will still love you and still be there for you, still be attracted to you, still want you. So you never need to worry about that. And you always feel supported in your relationship, even if there's a tough love situation going on, perhaps. Maybe they are a bit too harsh sometimes, saying certain things, but you realize that it's coming from a place of love and it's not meant to hurt you. And you always feel supported by that love. And yeah, you don't have to sacrifice any part of yourself to be with this person and attract that person. That's a really good indication of a twin flame connection because, as we mentioned before, perfect complement, perfect match. So, of course, they will desire to be with you. And the relationship is also created perfect and balanced. So this doesn't necessarily mean that um, you do 50-50 split of the chores or, you know, you pay half the bills, it's, or it doesn't necessarily look that way, but it's balanced in a way that best complements your individual strengths because it comes from a place of respecting who you are on an individual level instead of a performance of what the relationship should look like according to societal standards. Sign number 10 that this could be a twin flame connection is that you're instant best friends, even if you might not realize it yet. The thing about twin flames is that it's so easy to connect with your twin flame, to have a conversation with them, to be all of yourself when you're around them. And your twin flame is also designed to be your best friend, not only your ultimate lover and spiritual teacher. So of course, friendship between you is going to feel effortless. You will be able to share yourself and be vulnerable with each other and trust each other. And that's a really beautiful thing. And so many people 
have revealed their twin flame as, you know, the person that they had been friends with for ages. They had been just friends for the longest of times. And when they started getting on their twin flame journey, they realized that, hey, it was this person all along. I just couldn't see it. So it's incredibly common also for twin flames to start out as best friends or as friends and then develop into something more because they're so perfectly complementary when it comes to friendship. And the final and one of the most important signs that you might have met your twin flame is that this person mirrors everything that is within you. And this has to do with the core choices you've been making, with every pattern, maybe every trauma you've internalized. They will mirror that to you so that it comes up to be healed. And when you honestly look at this person's behavior and how it feels in your heart, you realize that it's never them rejecting you or anything like that. It's always just mirroring something to you that you're already doing within yourself. Speaking of rejection, if you notice your twin flame is rejecting you in your relationship, when you honestly look within yourself, you will always find that it's because they're mirroring somewhere where you're rejecting a part of yourself. And this applies to pretty much everything when it comes to the twin flame dynamic. So if you're really loving yourself in certain areas, you're really romancing yourself, enjoying life, guess what your twin flame is going to do? They'll be all over you <laughs> because, you know, you're giving that love to yourself. So they're going to mirror that too. A lot of times when it comes to twin flames, we tend to focus on the negative of them mirroring unpleasant things, but they also mirror the really beautiful things and in unexpected ways. So if you've been really focusing on loving yourself, don't be surprised if one day your twin flame shows up with flowers out of the blue. It really is that simple. And it's not about giving yourself love so that you can receive it from your twin flame. That's not how it should happen at all. But it's the result of you genuinely loving yourself and having a great relationship with yourself. That is the foundation for a healthy and beautiful relationship with your twin flame. Twin flame mirroring is a really important topic to talk about. And it's pretty much the key to your success understanding this and using it to your advantage. So if you would like that, I have made a video on that, which I will have linked over here so you can learn all about what it is and how you can use this mirroring effect to get into your union faster. Thank you for watching today's video and I hope to see you in the next one.